Welcome back, big time eaters. Today, we have yet again another big time menu for you guys, where we review the whole menu so you guys do not have to. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we're currently at Honolulu Grill out here in West Jordan, Utah. It's smelling amazing. I know there's gonna be some good Hawaiian food. Absolutely. And you already know, that's one of our favorites. Hawaiian plate lunch is calling my name. Let's go check out the mac salad, the rice, and of course the barbecued meats. Let's go see. Let's go. Okay guys, as you can see, we got everything here. There's a lot of food. It's, it's bigger, like, it's more timer. It's more eater. It's like a charcuterie. Charcuterie. Yeah, charcuterie. <laughs> assortment Hawaiian plates, Filipino style, all the fusion. The fusion. <laughs> First off, right here, we have the Spam and Eggs plate. Obviously, it comes with white rice. I think they have other options of rice too, but we opted in for white rice for everything. Spam and Eggs with the gravy on top of it, white rice. Then we have the coconut shrimp plate over here. Obviously, shrimp, back salad, white rice. We have the local mocha Beautiful, plate. Beautiful, man. It is an egg topped with gravy, and there's a hamburger steak under it too. White rice, mac salad included. And then over here is the sesame chicken, white rice, macaroni salad. Just real quick, just clarify, all the dishes are served up with the teriyaki sauce on the side. You can also order it with it all over the top of your rice. Since we're eating so much, we don't want, get, want the rice to get too soggy. Continuing on over here, what we have is the katsu plate, obviously served with rice, the sauce, katsu sauce actually with that one, and then mac salad as well. And then over here, we have the little pork plate, obviously with rice and mac salad as well. And then we have the lao lao plate, which is pork, rice, and mac salad, of course. And then the teriyaki chicken, of course, with rice, more mac salad. Coming over to my side here, guys, we've got the chicken curry, served with white rice, mac salad, terry sauce. In the middle here, the mahi-mahi. So this is the fish. We opted to get it fried. You could also choose to get grilled, served up with a lemon wedge, white rice, and then some sort of tartar sauce. And then over here, we have the terry steak, caramelized beef, served with rice, mac salad, terry sauce. Back in the middle here, barbecue chicken. So the difference between the barbecue chicken and the teriyaki chicken, the teriyaki chicken's just made in a glaze, and you can see the nice charring on the barbecue chicken. So that's the difference. It's gonna be similar flavor, but you have the char flavor here. Then we've got their other breakfast plate with Portuguese sausage, eggs, rice, and gravy over the top. And then over here, this is their garlic chicken with a little bit of chili, rice, mac salad, and then teriyaki, kalbi, the short rib with rice and mac salad. And right at the front there, a little bit of spam musubi to get the taste buds going because we don't have enough food yet. Top it all off, this is the butter cake. They serve it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream over the top. And then their other dessert dish, pineapple upside down cake, they serve it with a scoop of ice cream and some pineapple. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm willing to try it. <laughs> As Pineapple's we, not my favorite, but I'm willing to try it. I just don't understand why <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know either. He has such a vengeance against pineapple. He has this, it's like a grudge he holds against him. I don't know what SpongeBob for some house reason, did to him. For some, <laughs> for some reason. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the menu. It's time to get Eaterer. Let's go. And we're back. We have the first four plates here. It's insane, it's looking wonderful. So where should we start? I think let's start off with this mahi mahi. It's our sauce. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Wow. It's nice. Very moist, juicy fish. Very meaty, like I said. That tartar sauce, perfect pairing with fish. And that little squeeze of lemon brings that brightness and acidity. Really good. Tartar sauce, you need it with that. You cannot miss it. And it is just, it complements everything well. Moving on, we have the Portuguese sausage plate right here. And it's got the egg, it's got the rice, it's got the gravy, it's got everything. So let's just go in for that. This one is... There you go. Magic Cheers, primal. my friend. Mm. That Portuguese sausage has like that nice taste, like a bratwurst almost, but not really. It's more so like the Chinese sausage style. Good flavors going on in that, that gravy over everything. Nice, warm, delicious. And I love my eggs cooked any type of way. So that's just great. Yeah, eggs are a perfect pairing to rice. And then the gravy wraps it all together. That saltiness, subtle smokiness of the Portuguese sausage. This is a classic Hawaiian plate lunch breakfast. Move on to the other classic, the Spam and eggs. This is a over medium eggs, gravy, rice. Let's go ahead and bust that. Oh. Yolk open. Whoa. Yes, sir. The yellow lava yep. flowing. Look, I'm gonna have to snatch a whole piece of spam. Look at that bite. Right, cheers, cheers, my friend. Mm. I think I'm sending. <laughs> spam paired with rice and eggs can never be wrong. Perfectly over medium egg gravy. Man, that's so good. Spam. I just love spam so much. Something about American meat in a can. Fuzz. What does that mean? Fuzz. American. But something about that meat in a can. It's so processed, but it's so good. Like, it may not be good for you, but it's so good, it's though. It's so processed. It and just has and, to be and good. I just love it, though. I just love it. It's Absolutely. The American spirit right I there. I agree. I agree fully. Now, one of my favorite Hawaiian plate lunches and one of the most recognizable right here, the Loco Moco. Perfectly charred burger patty, top of the gravy and eggs, and of course, the mac nice salad. salad. Let's go. My bite's insane. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's amazing. Ready? Yeah. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. 
Mm. Well, instantly the first thing I noticed was that hamburger. Mm. It's like nice. It's literally like a burger in a plate. I mean, that's what it is. It's yeah, a burger in a plate. Exactly yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. If they do it right, guys. The egg, it's nice. It's, it's just like a breakfast sandwich, you know, with rice and nice salad. I got to go for some of that back. Absolutely. And like Denzel said, the burger is the first thing you notice. That beautiful charred flavor, that smokiness and the sweetness of the onion. It's all caressed with that wonderful, luscious gravy. And of course, the fried egg on top. And I'm gonna follow you up. I'm gonna get some of this mac yeah. salad. We've made it to the next round. Coconut shrimp is calling my name. Yeah, right? let's do the coconut shrimp. Yeah, I would say it's got its own sauce. It's got its yeah. own flow. We're trying to bite the flow. We're <laughs> trying to bite the flow. We're trying to bro. bite my swag, but instead of just biting my hey, cheese. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm, creaminess, mm. that sweetness. Mm. And guys, don't be afraid to eat this part. That is really good, the coconut shrimp. It just reminds me of like, you get that coconut milk, right? The sweetness mm -hmm. from it, pour it all over it. And then you get a little bit of like a, it's almost like a Thai sweet and spicy yeah. kind of flavor going on there. Nice and wonderful. Coconut shrimp is one of the many dishes that highlights the fusion of cultures in Hawaii. You get the Asian influence, like the curry-esque, like Denzel said, and then that sweetness is really good. Sauce, when it soaks into the rice, does not get any better than that. Now I'm over here, the sesame chicken. Looks like a light fry. I'm sure this is gonna be flavor packed. Cheers. Mm. Mm. On initial glance, it sort of looks like it's gonna be run of the mill, nothing crazy. But you bite in, super strong flavor. Yeah. Sesame sweetness. I believe it could only get better a little bit of teriyaki yeah. sauce. I might have to run I that. think it enhances it. Yeah, without it, it's already amazing on its own. There's a lot of flavor and it's juicy too. Yeah. There's some juices coming out of it. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Oh yeah. You can go with or without mm -hmm. it. Good either way. I'm, I'm really honestly surprised. It's like really juicy though. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, like you really wouldn't need the teriyaki sauce on this plate. Yeah. Because there's a lot of no. juice going down. I'm actually surprised. It's just another layer, a little bit more sweetness. Yeah. To it. This is the barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken. So beautiful char on that. I can smell the char too. Have to, look at that. Beautiful caramel charred flavor glistening in the light. Oh man. Go Cheers, ahead. my friend. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wonderful char. Just brings another layer of flavor. This is some people would say this is burnt, but it not is at all. It is not. That's that flavor that you need, caramelization. It's the nice smoky taste, super smoky, and that's what I'm talking about. Like as it was saying, yeah, some people would think that, but it's not, that's the flavor for mm -hmm. it, so. The wow wow. This is one of my favorite dishes. You wrap it and cook the usually pieces of pork, a little bit of fish in the leaf, and it steams and fuses with the flavor. You don't eat this exterior leaf, but you see in the middle that it's kind of like more cooked. This is the part that we eat. Cheers. Cheers my friend. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. flavor that the leaves bring to the pork. Perfectly tender, a little bit of fat, really good. It's literally just reminding me of high school. After a football game, we'd yeah. go over to some of the friends' house. They'd have this, and I was like, what is this? And then I didn't know, but I tried it, and it's just so amazing, guys. Uh -huh. The leaf adds so much to the, uh -huh. the meat itself, guys. Getting curious. I'm sure this is just, since this dish is really fatty traditionally, because they, they cook it with little pieces of pork fat. It's almost like a pico de gallo. Okay, yeah, that's what I was, I was gonna say. It looks like a pico. Okay, next round here, guys. Let's go in. I wanna start with this curry. I'm really curious. Yeah, looks very interesting. I'm a sucker for curry, so. And I'm not talking Steph. I'm talking about the goat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just shut up and dribble. Just shut up and dribble, Ezra. Right, cheers. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Packed with flavor, guys. That's a really good curry. Nice, subtle notes of spice. It's not mm. too much. And this, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. I might just have to smash this right now. Mm. Straight up curry flavor. It's not like high style yellow curry. You have that sweetness from the coconut cream. However, it is still very creamy. Really mm. good. Teriyaki beef. Let's do it. Looks like it has that wonderful char on there as well. Marinade. Cheer. Mm. Oh. The nice char, the sweet glaze, smoky. You yeah. can't go wrong. It's a classic. That char, the level of flavor that it brings cannot be understated. You need that, that smokiness. Because if you don't have that, then it just kind of becomes one dimensional, overly sweet. But since you have that char, it's kind of like doing yeah. a dance, a little tango. Yeah, it's hitting the, hitting the little, <laughs> in the big groove. <laughs> Going for that Kalua pork. Kalua pork. So this is the other version of pork they serve. Looks like it's served cabbage. up the cabbage. Cheers, Cheers my friend. Mm. Okay. Still super moist pork. Cabbage is a nice little pairing with it. A little bit of chew. Isn't it? If it wasn't just by itself, it would be a little bit overly fatty, I think. Nice saltiness. Yeah. Okay, guys. This one, I can't resist my favorite. My kryptonite, the katsu chicken, guys. Yep. Oh, I feel I the just, strain. I feel I the feel strain. strain. <laughs> I got to block out. Look at this. I just grabbed the whole piece. Whoa, bro. <laughs> He's trying to jack my piece. <laughs> got to dip in that good katsu dip sauce. Dip in that katsu sauce. Cheers. Mmm. That is one of those great food pairings. Peanut butter and jelly, ketchup and fries, katsu chicken, katsu sauce. Wow. What can I say? 
I have to agree. It's, such, it's like the best pairing in the world. You just can't skip it. You can't miss it. All I'm saying is that, guys, you just can't. You can't go wrong. It's amazing. I think we should stick so, to food reviewing. <laughs> stick to food reviewing. Just shut up and dribble. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the three musketeers left. Yeah. The last three. The final three. The final round. The big three. Right here, garlic chicken, teriyaki kalbi, teriyaki chicken. A little bit different. Should we start with the garlic chicken? Yeah, we should start with the garlic chicken. Let's we do got it, dude. Cheers, Cheers my friend. Mmm. Oh, mm. strong garlic. Again, it's like that Thai sweet and spicy kind of flavor going on there. The mm -hmm. big garlic flavors coming out of that. It's like punching me like, oh, ow, like right in the face. Really like good. that Ryan Garcia and Tank fight. Like, yeah, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> we just beat it up. Absolutely, I agree fully with what Denzel said. They definitely use that Thai sweet chili sauce. So then you get that powerful garlic flavor. Moving on. Move to the teriyaki kalbi, the short rib. This is Ezra's favorite. This is one of my favorites for I sure. I think this might have to be your trip tonight. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say that. I would say that. that the uh, loco moco. I, I would say that barbecue chicken, man. Your trip tonight. Can never go wrong, bro. This one. You might have to go primal. Again. I always have to go primal because you get that little handle, the bone. Cheers, right, cheers, my friend. Big wow. flavor. Perfect char. That glaze, glistening, abs jiggling. Yep. <laughs> that smokiness, that char, the sweetness from it. Short rib is forced to be recommended. You can't miss it. So good. I just want to taste it. Bruh. Some people think this is as far as you got to go with the kalbi. They would be wrong. You got to go in there. You got to start gnawing on the bone. Last but not least. So the chicken's a little bit more tender. Got that teriyaki flavor still present. Cheers. Different mouthfeel. Mm. So this, I would compare it to the texture of almost like a rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. We get that sweet teriyaki glaze. Yeah, it's like when you go to Costco, you get that $5 fat old fat chicken, right? $5 fat you, you, you smash the chicken real quick, then you shred it apart, get the rotisserie going. Mm -hmm. It's literally like that. Yeah, same exact texture. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead, wrap up this meal, and go to the dessert. Mm -hmm. What we have here is the pineapple butt cake, which actually has a sweet toffee sauce, as well as pineapples all over it. And over here, we've got their butter cake. It's been sitting for a little bit and melting, but this has their house special sweet sauce, as well as, uh, as, well as that perfectly crumbly butter cake, scoop of vanilla ice cream over the top, perfect way to end your meal. I'm gonna avoid the pineapple for the first bite. Yep, as we're scared of pineapple, so I'll, I'll take all the pineapple. Ready? Cheers, oh, I took a big one. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Wow. This butter cake is so dense. That sweet sauce, that caramel flavor, and then that perfect creaminess of the vanilla ice cream. This is a perfect dessert. This, is. it's Real nice and warm, the butt, right? and then the pineapple comes together. It's like you get every bite, you get the nice acidic bite from the pineapple as well, and then you get the sweet ice cream, and it just comes together perfectly. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, it's wonderful. All right, go ahead and reload. Okay. All right, cheers again. Cheers. Going the pineapple down the hatch. Well, pineapple actually works in this. I'll I told admit you. It. I'll admit I told it. you, I told pineapple you. Pineapple works with this, because you get the nice little bit of sweetness, the tropical flavor of the pineapple. I like it in this case. Really good desserts. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna wrap up our meal and then we'll catch you outside. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just experienced the entire menu of the Honolulu Grill. I gotta say, my own personal highlights, gotta be that coconut shrimp, it's gotta be that calvi, it's gotta be that barbecue chicken, and of course, the loco moco. Can never miss with those. They're serving up basically every Hawaiian special plate lunch, so you can't go wrong. Definitely give this place a try. Guys, I have to agree, that coconut shrimp, something about it is just different, and I just love it. Like everything as was said, I just, Gotta give them all a try, there's so many. But with all that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, stay tuned for the local eats, the best things, sweet treats. Bigger, more timer, and more eaterer. Of course, stay tuned, got lots coming. See you soon, peace. peace.